So I think to build the frame like so it's not twig, I need a little bit over six, I think, for including going into this wipe. I had more of a plan than I had last time. That was not a fun experience. This time, I'd really researched what I wanted to do. I'd found a base design online that I wanted to try and copy and an area that I wanted to build it in. So after using the safety of outpost to farm, all that was left now was to finally get there, get stuck in and see if I could make it happen. So that's the basic starter frame, for lack of a better word. Back to farming. Hopefully this won't take as long as it normally does. Literally nothing. I'd had a really productive morning and I was happy with how everything was progressing. So I stoned everything up, switched all my door frames to metal and then disappeared to get some lunch. My goal was simple, come back in the afternoon, keep trying to make improvements. That return did not exactly go to plan though. While I was off eating, I was raided and killed. The naked that I killed just a few minutes before turned out to be an extremely well equipped and highly aggressive neighbour. I knew that I would be unable to stay here, complete the base as I wanted to, let alone make anything else happen. So I did the only thing that seemed logical to me. I packed up, moved to another server and aimed to start again. The start here had been very similar to the start on the other server. I used the safety of outpost to farm all of the resources that I needed to get started. I hid some stashes in a sleeping bag just outside for the lucky things like guns that I found in the crates around. And I spent the majority of my time here just making sure that I'd got everything exactly as it needed to be. If anything, this start felt more successful and more secure than the first. I'd managed not only to secure the base to the same level that I had in the previous server, but I'd also found time to farm extra resources and even gather some food. It was getting late though, so I logged off, hoping that when I log back in tomorrow, this base wouldn't have suffered the same fate that my first did. I used the start of my next session to farm resources for base upkeep and for crafting some essentials that I'd need if I wanted to go roaming or exploring any monuments. I'd also noticed 
a locked box on a decayed foundation just outside my own base. So I went back to crack that open and found a small amount of guns, ammo and some night vision goggles. The dome was the closest monument to me, so I figured what better place to start than there. But upon arriving realised that there was already someone in there clearing crates and barrels. So I decided to go downstairs, remove all the scrap, low grade and crude oil that I could. I managed to harvest an unlucky pig that happened to be in the wrong place in the wrong time and headed back to base to depot. Everyone knows that roaming solo can be an absolute nightmare. So I decided the best way to do it would be to use the cover of darkness, head down to the nearest mining outpost to see if there's anything interesting in there, and then after that head out in the early daylight to Lighthouse to look for more scrap and components and hopefully get some recycling done. After hitting a few barrels, some crates and a recycle run on the way back, I decided that now is as good a time as any to cook up all that food, depot and then finish that run through the dome that I tried to start earlier. I just prayed that there was no one there and that the crates had already respawned. At the end of my second day I added another furnace, some more storage boxes and had a small organised before logging off, hoping that tomorrow I'd be returning to an unraided base ready to keep pushing on. Yeah, I've, nothing I've, you have to do on a massive grind or whatever. No, exactly. No, I've, I've, I've been trying. Day three started well because I was joined by Rusty. If you've been there for any of my streams in the past, I'm sure you know who he is. But today, he'd finished his wipe on another server and was keen to show me the ropes when it comes to expanding the base. What I was going to do today was maybe go ocean farming, since it's something that I underwater or just on ocean. Yeah, well, a bit of both. But I haven't got any scuba gear, so I'd, it was a bit of a loose plan to head to fishing village and get some scuba gear and and go farming in the sea because there seems to be a lot of shit in the sea that's worth having especially those boxes you can get that are... tier 2 weapons from the sunken ships yeah. tier 1 and 2 you can also get explosives from them yeah mm -hmm. so with a very loose plan in our heads we popped out for a bit to have a little roam just to show roughly the area that I'd chosen to build in and what was there is this going to be a farm oh yeah. that's 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 open. so close that's open there as well. Yeah. 
That's just popped. There's a lot of furnaces you can nab. Oh my god, this big, this large furnace is full. Oh, fuck yeah. It's full of metal. TC's unlocked. Oh, it's full of wood. Is it really? Right, yeah. let's have it. I'm going to get a hammer and I'll clear out the, I'll clear out these furnaces. Yep, I'll make it. Now, do you want to take this over so that way you have a large furnace? Uh, oh yeah, it could do actually, yeah. Oh, the box up here is full of wood too. All right. Yeah, let's just take it over then. That would be easy, wouldn't it? Yeah, go grab a... Go grab a door, and I'll patch. I don't know how to seal this top part. Maybe this is why they let it decay. What, because it's fucked? Yeah, maybe they fucked up the design, because I can't figure out how it works. I have no idea. No? No. Wrong I reckon it was fucked up. Yeah, let's just pick everything up. Yeah, oh, I've got There's the furnaces. There's plenty of wooden shit for us. Yeah. What a lucky find, eh? That's a lot of wood. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> I told you I had a bit. Shit, and the rest of that other box is full. Mm-hmm. Jesus. Okay. Wouldn't be playing with you if skins weren't changing, I suppose, would I? <laughs> <laughs> I might go for a run around dome. Sure. And just see what's going on uh, there. Or I might craft up a bow real quick, actually. There's, um... I'll do it while I'm running there. Oh, we're not in a team. Let's get in a team before I shoot you. Eh? Do you know what? I didn't even, I didn't even think about that. A oh, snap trap and a pipe. No, yeah, I think that know. was quicker, but you missed two crates. Yeah. Oh, sufficient. This run through dome was also very successful. We got a lot of good components and scrap, plus the revy that Rusty found in a crate. I was eager though to head to the ocean as I'd heard a lot about what a great source of loot it was. So we depoted everything from dome and headed to fishing village to grab what we needed and head out onto the water. There's a barrels right in front of us, we'll go for that. Oh, we're going. Oh. oh. <laughs> Too far to the right. <laughs> uh, we need to get a rowboat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For two guys as uncoordinated as we are, a kayak clearly was not the way to go. So we headed back to Fishing Village again, waited out the night, grabbed ourselves a speedboat, and headed out to give it another try. Uh, you ready to grab the stuff on the surface yeah, when it floats up? Yeah, man. Look at that perfect sun's coming up as well. Perfect timing. Let's head out a little bit deeper so we're not in people's view range. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. We'll grab this one crate and then we'll start heading north because we'll probably encounter players this way that have guns. The one we were going for despawned and this one appeared. Oh, we got a diver ball right here. Nice. Wish me luck. First one's coming up. Second one's coming up. Grab the crates in the air. Oh, this is a large one too. Oh, there's gonna be a sharky. For sure. Oh, that's the first one. Third one's on its way up. There's the shark. Yeah, check out these comps. Look at that. 40 scrap just from that boat on what I collected anyway. Jesus. You know what? We should get rid of the rope. We'll keep the sewing kits though. Yeah. Oh, there is a shark though. Oh, that's a good, that's a good crate, that one. 
Oh, underwater labs. Is r there's two giant. Oh god, there's going to be two sharks. Dead. I'm. I'll try and be quick, but there's a large lootable, and I'm going to have to scare off a shark for it. Yeah. Uh, there's one large and one small that I can find so far. Who's gonna win? Rusty with a spear or a great white? I'm gonna say great Let's white. Let's find out. I'm dead. <laughs> he got me. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so I need a D6 spawn. Oh, My shit's gonna float up. It was starting to feel like our luck on the ocean was beginning to run out. So. I headed back to the beach to pick up Rusty. We headed back to the fishing village to cash in our 100 crude to get a measly 100 scrap for it. Our next plan was to make it around the coast to around the G10, G11 area, as we figured this was the shortest and therefore safest route to outpost so that we could make our recycling run. See that bit in like G6 where it goes shallow across from... from one... Yeah, we're gonna have to push the boat, maybe, yeah. unless you can thread the needle very thinly We're probably pushing. No. Oh, nice. Fast and furious ain't got fuck all on me, bruv. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Leg it. That's not. A nah, that's run. pretty good run, especially if we grab outpost. And it was a good run. We left outpost with a little over 1,200 scrap and a little short of 2,000 metal frags. Plus, we had a bunch of cloth and other components, so we made our way back to the base as quick as we possibly could to make sure that we'd secured it all and could start expanding the base. We got this. We got this. Guy camping right here. No. <laughs> Don't need really to give me a heart attack. Look at that. Our TC was now pretty stacked. More than a thousand low grade and nearly 3,000 metal frags, nearly 2,000 scrap. The rest of our boxes, however, were a bit of a nightmare. So while Rusty ran out to have a farm up for some stone for base expansion, I had to tidy up so that we could get a better idea of what it was we actually had so far. Here, yeah, look at this. Holy shit, dude. Is that them two outside trying to take that earlier? Yep. It was at this point that I had to dip out for a few hours as I had some family stuff that I needed to take care of. I left the base in Rusty's capable hands and was eager to see what he'd achieved by the time I get back. Hey, bud. Yo, yo, yo. So while I was offline, Rusty had got way more done than I ever thought he would. In the two hours I was gone, he has expanded the base, including new loot rooms and a proper entrance, started a fertiliser farm and secured everything inside a compound with multiple TCs and entrances. Once I was done having a look around everything, this day started the same as every other had, with a run round dome looking for scrap and components. Getting back and seeing how much stuff we'd actually got, I decided to grab the stuff that we didn't need and make a run to outpost for recycling. And they can go. There's a full block, I'll go and do them now. Seeing as we now had a fertiliser farm to upkeep as well, bringing back stray horses was an absolute must. But at the same time, Rusty noticed one of our neighbour's bases decaying. Oh, this whole. Our neighbours are decaying! Yes, the we whole thing just popped. Yeah. Oh, someone's already been here. Oh, it's loaded turrets! Ah! Alright, the flame trap has ammo. This is good. We can get turrets in our compound. I think I saw three turrets. One, two, yeah, there's two there. Jesus. I'm 
I'm grabbing everything that I don't want to craft. Yeah. Well, at least one of our competition is out of our road. We only got two left now. Yeah. Alright, you can grab the logo now. Got it. How much was it? Uh, 16. As long as we keep it on. After exploring that base and realising it wasn't actually as loaded as we once thought it would be, I kept guard on the roof while Rusty went out of a chainsaw and farmed up enough wood to keep everything running. Jesus. Plus on my body, look at my body. Jesus, dude. That's yeah. a lot of wood. <laughs> That's a lot of wood. Oh yeah, there's a couple of bases around here. If I die, we know we're in the right area. Having got all the resources we need, we had a wander out after hearing some gunshots to see if there was anything that we could find or a raid we could count on. Run. We're so dead. He's going to the roof. I hit him twice. Fuck yeah, you did. There's no bar, there's nothing on those windows up the top though. If we could get up there. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to find half floors and stuff. He doesn't have any though. Oh, he's got an AK. And he's got incident ammo in it. Oh my god, this is what he was raiding. What? This base right here, there's a whole bunch of loot this morning. I'm down. We can leave now. Yeah. Grab your gun. I got a full inventory of Hazzy's. Plenty of gear sets for later. He was despawning them all. Why? I don't know. That base must have been loaded. Now the horse for our mulcher. Nice. This base with the overhangs all decayed out as well, I think, isn't it? Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, well, you can't get to anything. There's still sheet metal doors in it. Top right box of the first one when you walk in. That's what he had despawning. Jesus. Headshot at him. Oh, was he on the roof? Yep. He's dead, he's dead. Right, I'm just healing up. Oh shit, someone killed me. I'm down. It's someone... Oh fuck, I'm dead. Oh. I, I don't know who that was. I got you kept back, it's fine. Yeah. Oh. Is that someone shooting at you? Nah, he's gotta be low. There's a bow kid trying to kill me. I just head bodied. Where is he? He's, uh, like the way you came down. That's where he is. On top of that mountain. Oh, shit. Oh, is that... Fuck off out of here. I whiffed so bad, and he's got almost nothing on him. He threw it all down here, that's why. Oh, did he? Not much. No. Ah, oh, they got all the bodies. I'm 18 HP. Yeah, I'm 17. There's still someone in there, though. I'm just waiting for my timer so I can go into Bandit to fucking heal. Actually, should we just go back to base and just grab Whoa, more someone's HP got a, and stuff? Someone's got a gun. That's a gun. Yeah. yeah, that's a silenced. Yeah, let's dip. We're not going to survive one bullet. But it was on the way back to base that I noticed an airdrop close by and went to see if it was sealable. I think... Oh, I might go into the compound of this big base up here. Nah. Yeah, because there's a yeah, there's a guy on the roof. Yep, I'm still gonna go for it. Hit him once. Hit him. Shit, reloading. I'm on nine you health. Know, it's let me live. The cunt that door camped us yesterday. Is it really? Right. Yes. Oh. I'm coming back. Right. I, I did hit him once with the crossy. Yeah. 
He grabbed my crossy. No, I did. I, I've, I've got it here. Oh, you got it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he has a turret on his front door. Chuck me the crossy. Yeah. I didn't pick the arrows up, though. There wasn't any arrows. I got the arrows. I got arrows. Oh, okay. Oh shit, he got me. He got, he, no, he's, yeah, he's hiding right where I was. He's hiding in the honeycomb. Oh, really? Yeah. He's on his roof, he's on his roof, he's on his roof, he's on his roof. He's got an M2, he's got an M2, he's on his roof, run away. As it turns out, this guy has been roof and door camping a lot of people on the server this entire white. So the longer we spent here trying to take him out, the more people turned up trying to get their own little piece of revenge, with some even talking about raiding him. Are you going to raid him today? I'm down, I'm dead. Beamed you like a motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, let me... I'm going to put a couple of bags for you and me around. Because I reckon he's going to get raided by that other guy. He said he was going to raid him. Yeah. Oh, he's coming out. He's shooting at me. Oh, I'm down, but I'm not dead. Oh. There's some more guys here now. Right, on that note, mate, I've got to disappear. Yeah. Okay. But I'll be back later, hopefully. Mm-hmm. While I was AFK, I got a message. That was the end of our wipe. Our base taken, completely looted, and left. Inaccessible and useless. I have to say a big thank you at this point to Rusty for essentially carrying me through the second part of this wipe. He streams pretty regularly on Twitch, and his details are in the description down below. But as far as this run goes, this was a pretty anticlimactic end to what had been a really fun wipe up to that point.